How's everybody doing? Mike here with Alien Armament. Thanks again for tuning in. I did promise that I would strip down and uh, take a closer look at the Matsu Corp Pulse Rifle. So uh, I didn't take down my uh, Brown Bess 10 hole, but I did take down the um, Whalen Yutani Commando. So here's just one of the carry handles. And here's another part of the carry handle that make the clamshell. Uh, so if you stick around for a few minutes, uh, you will see how I took it apart and how these are constructed. Um, very impressed for something that is hand built, right? Out of scratch, mostly. Um, you will begin to understand why it takes so darn long to build them and why they're uh, the price that they are. So take a look. All right, gang, we're going to take this apart. Uh, so this will be my first time stripping it down, so you'll have to bear with me as I fumble through, but it'll be a first for both of us. Uh, I took the strap off, so of course that's an easy thing to do. And uh, the next step is to remove the magazine. All right, that's super simple. All right, so I'm going to take this, press this up, and pull the magazine out. I have to pull the bolts off these areas, and I have to pull the bolt plates off the front. So get, a, get a good look at that. These four got to come off. This has got to come off. All right, so this is just bent metal. Uh, looks a little uneven. If you look at it. This one's taller than this one. So again, handcrafted. I have no issues with that. So, that's the back plate. I'm going to round these edges because in the Whalen Yutani Commando version, these are rounded. So, that's got to get modified. All right, so that's the other plate. Again, I'm going to round the edges. You can see the, uh, I see the marks left over by where the, you can take a look really closely. There's these blue marks uh, of where it was uh, marked to be drilled out. Take care of this front plate right here. This has got to come off. This is a different Allen wrench. Yep. These are... A little bit bigger. I'm going to put that in there. Put that in there. And these are rounded, uh, which is nice. Nice rounded. Again, just a piece of aluminum. There's a back plate back here that's got to come off. Note to self, take the grip off next time. Not a big deal. All right, so there's the other plate, nice rounded, made of aluminum. And once again, these are handcrafted. You can't get this, you know, from a model store. You have to actually be a machinist to some degree, cut the metal, round the edges. So um, it's interesting. I mean, even if you look, um, it's it's hand done. You know, it's it's not done by uh, heavy duty manufacturing. I mean. Even the holes are just slightly off. But again, we're not looking for perfection here. 
but we're just talking about how intricate the workings of a pulse rifle are, right? It's had to be made. So it's good. It's a wonderful job. Wonderful job. Okay. Now that we have the plates off the front and the back of the magazine well, we have the support off the back. All right. Now we're going to go for the big ones, the big screws that are up here, right? So these screws have to come off. So I think I have a one eighth here. So we're going to be gentle and easy. Let's see, the length on these is a little shorter than I thought they'd be. But it looks like there is a bit of a gap. I have to be extra careful here because I'm really not sure what I'm up against. Okay, this screw doesn't want to come out. But um, the handguard, handguard, the handle is beginning to pull away here. All right, so I'm going to gently lift up. Now we have our panel out. So here it is, folks. All right now we're going to look at the other side of this, and I got to make sure this screwed. I don't lose it. There you go. That came out relatively easy. All right, so in here. It's interesting. Let's take a peek at the inside. Um, it is molded, right? It's got some weight to it. It's got some weight to it. So it is molded um, with the cast resin, the aluminum powder. Um, it has a, a bit of a, a bevel here. Bevel here. That is the inside. Um, and I'll be able to study this, you know, after the video, but there you have it. One half. Right. And now you get a really cool look at the inside, kind of a cutaway, right, of the pulse rifle. Let's see if I can turn this so you can see it. This is the ooh-ah moment, right? So let's get into this a little bit. Uh, first of all, you can see the wiring here for the um, contact switch, which uh, illuminates your um, counter when the magazine is, is inserted. Um, the SPOS cage is here. I can kind of see the, uh, the workings back end here and, and everything else. Very, very interesting stuff. Now, I don't intend on taking the SPAS cage apart in this episode, um, but you are taking a look at, you know, again, the Thompson is in here, as you can see. So it is very interesting the way they set this up. Very, very well done. Um, yeah, is it perfect on the inside? No, but why should it be? It is, it is a prop and it's something that obviously the Thompson and the Sposs and everything else, you know, were, were fabricated for the movie. So very cool. All right. So what makes this hard? is the wiring for the counter. Um, it's attached to the Thompson trigger and it goes down and into this other side. So by pulling the Thompson out, I'd be ripping the wires out with it. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna dive in, all right? There's a uh, panel here, which I believe protects the counter. So I'm going to take these little jobbies out. 
These little guys go to the other side for the panel. Little baby ones. Now I'm going to attempt to remove the panel. Okay, so the panel comes out pretty easily. So this is just the plastic panel, right, that covers my wires. And uh, again, a first for me, the switch is in here. That's definitely got to get removed. So the wiring part of this whole project uh, is definitely challenging, right? All right. So this is number one. And this is number two. All right. So I put one dash and the other dash and two dashes, two dashes. So that there's absolutely no effing way unless I'm completely drunk <laughs> that I can mess that up. Perfect. All right. So now that I'm separated, I should be able to separate the Thompson and the Spas from this other side of the carry shell. And there you are. There you have it. So I'm still being extra careful. I don't want to ruin such beautiful artwork. And as you can see, there's a cutout right there where the rest of the wires go. And those wires, of course, go into the grip. And that's where the battery is. And there's a micro switch in there as well. So when you pull the trigger, your counter will run down. So we're going to put the Thompson aside. And get a closer look at this thing. Okay. So this is the other side of the carry handle. Um, of course, this is the this is the way she rolls, right? Just like that. So there's your counter. Here's your switch. Right? If I flip it over. There's your counter and switch on this side. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the takedown of the pulse rifle. Um, so far, I've got it down about halfway. There's still the Sposs cage and a few other things to disassemble, but that's for another time. Uh, so appreciate it, all my subscribers. If you like the channel, that's great. If you subscribe, it's even better, but I'm not trying to get YouTube famous. I'm trying to just you know share my love of pulse rifles with everyone and also learn about how to build them. And maybe, just maybe, I'll punch out some of my own pulse rifles for you. So stay tuned. Take care.